The following podcast is a Dear Media production. We're going. We're here with Kelsey Kreppel. She's our first ever guest, and it's going to be so amazing. We love her so much. I'm so honored to be your first guest. I um, had no idea. Yeah. You had no idea oh, that I was your first guest. We did just tell her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, you just dropped the news. A lot of pressure now. Yeah. It's going to be awesome be and lit. Um, Kelsey, sorry I just said lit. No, it's um, fine. It is It is. I think it lit is, is lit. Like, it's, it's an okay word to say. Yeah. I think lit is coming back, and it's cool. I think we should bring it back. Yeah. If it's it's definitely not, a part of my book. If we decide it. Yeah. Nothing is cringe. Oh. It's true. That's true. Okay. Right? Okay. Yes. Sure. So well, you kind of disagree. For, you know, your uh, fiance thinks a lot of things are cringe. He huh? does, but Shoot. Mm-hmm. I think that <laughs> I think a lot of things he thinks are cringe aren't cringe, but I think some things are cringe. Yeah. Like sometimes when I say like my content, I think that's cringe. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I kind of agree. Yeah. There are a lot of things that happen out here mm-hmm. in the big leagues and in, in the city of angels. Mm-hmm. When I'm at, in party at parties and things, the things that people say sometimes. Yeah. Like, Ooh, that's wild. I'm not used to that in Utah. Yeah. TBH. It's kind of tricky. Um, the scene out here. Yeah. Tell us. We want to talk about us, that. Wait, yeah. wait. First of all, though, First off, can you give us just a really good intro to who you are, what you do? For those of you who don't know you, mm-hmm. even though everybody sure. listening to this knows it. That's yeah. probably not true, but for those of you who don't know me, my name is Kelsey Kreppel. <gasps> yes. Oh my gosh. That was <laughs> awesome. Crazy. Thank you. <laughs> um, I am a YouTuber. Okay, speaking of cringe. Not cringing. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> We're not cringing. Go in. Um, I make YouTube videos as my job. Mm-hmm. Um, I do a lot of vlogs. I kind of just like to take people around my day to day life mm-hmm. and join me in that. You're yes. so cute. And that's what I do. <laughs> oh my God. And I used to teach preschool and I um, live in Venice. <gasps> Which is cool. I want to ask about that too. Yeah. We could talk about it. Um, and that's pretty much who I am. <laughs> So cool. And so if you like what you're hearing, go check out my YouTube channel. Yes, yes. baby. We need uh, the plug. What's it called? Just, it's just my name. Right. Which is? Kelsey Kreppel. Oh, my God. <laughs> We're going to make okay. her say her name as many times as yeah. we can possibly get her to say it. Okay, so now, thank you. First of all, we're so honored. Thank you for having me. Of I'm course. so excited. Um, we're going to do a little catch up, like yep. we do in every episode, but this time we have special guest suit with us um should i start maybe yeah yes. i haven't thought you, you guys have to start i get to go third yes okay <laughs> all right at my spotify so my okay. um, favorite song right now is only she knows by loving it is such a beautiful chill good vibe very good please listen we actually have a playlist on my spotify that's linked somewhere maybe on our instagram link tree Link tree. Mm-hmm. We love Link Tree. Link Wavy tree. dot podcast yes. on Instagram. Oh boy. Um all the songs we talk about in every single episode will be on that playlist. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Kind of fun. Love that. You get a song on it. <gasps> <laughs> we have like four songs on it right now. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> exciting. <laughs> um, okay, my I, wait, should everyone do their song right now, maybe? Uh-huh. Okay, Brie, what's your song? Okay, my song is called Oh, there's so many. I choose, okay, 999 by Prince Innocence. Innocence. Can you explain yep. that one a little? Yeah. No. Uh-oh, copyright issue. <laughs> Fit, well, we get like 15 seconds of songs before it's... <laughs> you have to sing it. Yeah. Okay, I'll be honest. I don't remember it, but Uh-oh. I remember... Oh, like, my I look, God. No, listen. <laughs> <laughs> I look at the name, and I'm like, yeah, I'm going to play that song, and yeah. then I listen to it, and I enjoy myself. Right. But you don't, like... Mm-hmm. Off the top of your head, couldn't tell us a single okay, thing I'll about go. it. So I don't know the lyrics sounds yet. Good. Oh, yeah, no, you don't awesome. have to know the lyrics. It sounds yeah. really good. No, it's a really good song. It sounds so awesome. That on the Wavy playlist. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um. So it, so it turns out that you guys like have way cooler taste in music than me. Well, like, well, okay. I would on. say yours is like a little bit more like, mm, um, like, hip. Oh. Like, you like no one knows frog? what you guys are talking about. Okay, you know okay, what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> like I you say something know. and everyone's like, 
I love that song. Like no one actually knows what you guys are talking about because it's like you, right. you've discovered this new artist. Um, <gasps> No. Yeah. Well, well I'm yeah. not. Next wrong. time I should say Dua Lipa. My bad. No, no, no. Yeah. I like what you're saying. <laughs> okay. Thank I would you. be bored if you said Dua Lipa. I love Dua Lipa. She's a queen. <laughs> but I would be bored. Okay, valid. I will say. Mm-hmm. Have you guys heard the song <laughs> Kate's Brother by Maisie Peters? No. Mm-mm. Okay, so I can't stop listening to it. Found it on TikTok. Uh huh. How does it go? Um, are you gonna hurt? You're gonna let, you're gonna last forever. And then it's like, are you for real? Kate's brother. It's about her, like, dating her best friend's brother. Oh, Ooh. that's kind of fun and cute. I don't know. It's like, it sounds like a 90s pop song. And I think that's why I like it. But that's what I've been listening to nonstop. Because it's like Victorious's best friend's brother. Exactly. Yes, exactly. Okay, it's kind of like vibe. a play B-F-B. on that. The FB. Yeah, the yeah, FB. Oh. Kind of the same vibe. It is. It sounds yeah. like it. it. It is. Best friend's brother. No, Kate's brother. Kate's brother. <laughs> yeah, by Kate's Maisie brother. Peters. Um, took a, took a few times for me to listen to it to really like it, mm-hmm. and yeah. then and then Cody heard it also and he really liked it. So then now it's just like constantly playing. I'm adding it. That's well, exciting. I can't wait to listen to your guys' cool songs on our drive home. We're all going to be listening to each other's songs. Aww. Yeah. Wow. So that is really cute. <laughs> And so will you guys listening to this. Yeah. Probably. Go put them on, you guys. Please. Please. Yeah. Please. Thank you. Okay, moving on. Item. Oh, um, For me personally, you. it would be this. Uh, I'm wearing this long necklace. I've really just been interested in longer necklaces recently. Okay. Like 2011 stuff. Yes, exactly. Actually. Maybe 2008. My inspo for the long necklace situation was um, 90210. Okay. They all wear n- long necklaces yeah. with every single outfit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and I was like, you know what? They're kind of doing something with that. I think I want to get on that. Did you guys, I don't know so. how old you guys are, but did you miss that? Like, were you too young to do that the first time around? Mm-mm. Were I you long necklaces? long ones, yeah. Bulky, long. Yeah, yeah I mean, like, I had like At the very huge... bottom, it was like... <laughs> Like yeah. rhinestones. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. But this is way cuter. Okay, thank you. Yeah, it's kind of kind of da- dainty. Where'd you get it? Um, Stacked by Susie. She is a small business owner on Instagram, and she's so cute. And she made this for me, actually. Cute. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Does it so have a sweet. picture in it? I should definitely put a picture in it. If I did, it would be a picture of my cat, Kiki. Kiki. Kiki, we miss you. We love Kiki. Kiki's. Kiki, come home. Just kidding. She's at he's home. on vacay. We're on vacay. TV. Where's where does Kiki go when you come out here? Mom and Dad's home. Love that. Mm-hmm. They've got two cats as well. They're all hanging out. Kiki, do you love me? Every day. They have three cats day. actually. Okay. <laughs> Kiki. There's Finn, August, Charlotte, and now Kiki and Fergus is <laughs> is coming into town. <laughs> Fergus. A lot of cats. Who's Fergus? Fergus. He's our grandparents' cat. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Mm. Fergus. Fergus is a good name. Kind of awesome. We love it. Awesome. It's a cute nickname. So long necklaces. Thank you. All right. Okay. Oh, God. My thing, item. Is this one item? Item. Mm-hmm. Okay, my item is the my the my oh, <clears throat> yep. my Madewell earrings mm-hmm. little mm-hmm. hoops I never take them off they do tarnish for sure okay but I think I buy them annually and I just mm. wear them twenty four seven because they go with everything true Love Madewell that. please send me more are you listening Madewell Madewell Sorry. okay very good yeah thank that's you. really great thanks mm-hmm. I'm yeah. really struggling to think of a thing that mm-hmm. I've been into lately. But like a product you use or oh you know what I've been using mm. road skincare. have you really yeah road yeah. road Haley Bieber skincare <laughs> Haley I'm sorry <laughs> um, oh my god that's so <laughs> sick that's have so you cool. never opened up your phone <laughs> road? right is I it love Justin like Bieber. as good as everyone says it is um I mean okay so I've only been using Ooh. the the glazing thing. If so you guys I'm can actually tell. not familiar with okay, the so products. It's like, what, oh, I don't know <laughs> what she's released. Okay. I'll tell you guys what she's released. Okay, we have like a barrier cream, like some like a moisturizer. Okay. I don't actually know if it's moisturizer. It's a cream. Okay, so good. We have got a cream. Then we have like a peptide glazing fluid. Okay, oh, peptide. That's yeah, glazing so fluid. good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sounds pretty wild. Oh. Um, but that 
That's what I've been using. And then she also has okay. like a lip balm. So she has three products. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. So I actually, I did not know that. Yeah. Fun and good. Yeah. It's like, and it's all like pretty affordable. Like okay. it's, it's, she's done a good job making this accessible to everyone. I feel like, well, it's, I mean, that's really cool. It's, I say that, but then at the same time, like it goes online and then it sells out within two seconds. Mm-hmm. Like it's not that easy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it's, it's like, full yeah, up. it's not like $500. Yeah. Though. That's so, cool. Yeah. Um, but I've been trying the, the glazing fluid. Your you skin looks really good. You just glaze for I glaze. That's it. Well, I gla- I do my regular skincare, okay, and right. then I put the glazing on as mm-hmm. part of it now. Oh, I haven't noticed too much of a difference. Okay. I'm gonna be honest here, but okay, it also like hasn't made me break out. Okay, so yeah. I don't hate it. Yeah. yeah, and I've only been using it for like almost a week now, so we'll see. But okay. it's the first thing that I've used that I've actually like continued to use because I mm-hmm. kind of like it. Mm-hmm. Okay, good to know. It's light. Okay, it's road. nice. Yeah, road peptide. Road. I feel like if it has the name, the word peptide in it, you that's know how you know it's good. It's probably good. Yeah, I don't know. You don't know peptide? Polypeptide. Pop. You got it. Polypeptide proteiny, something from Gibberish. Drunk Elephant. Very good. Oh, okay. Right, it's the right, one right. that you. Oh yeah. Well, they have a few I mean? of those. <laughs> You know exactly what I'm talking yeah. about. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A few of those. They do this. And yeah. And it's awesome. And we love it. Yeah. The pump on the top. I can't see your hands. Yeah. The oh, pump yeah. on the top. so bad. <laughs> Sorry. This is a podcast. We need to focus this. on the audio. No. I've used it. Okay. okay. I am in on this. Yeah. Yes, I love is. it. And so for those of you listening, when you hold it with three of your fingers and then press down on the top with the top two and then a little bit, the exact size that you need yes. comes out. Seriously. You and sometimes it. it's in the it's in the form of a flower. It looks like a flower sometimes. Oh, that's it's like that. You're whispering. Uh, anyway, I don't Secret. know. Okay, so those are our things. Ooh, really getting oh. into it. What's the next? The last section we have is something new. I think those are okay. Yes, let's go. What you don't want to? No, I just always get confused between we have thing and item, which they're pretty much the same thing. Something new, okay. item. Okay. Yes. Okay. I feel that though. Okay, having a guest on our show okay. is the oh, new thing for me. Because oh it's our God. first time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so that's something new, and I'm very excited. Oh. I'm so excited. <laughs> what are you so going to say about how excited you are to have me here now? I'm looking around. Yeah, are you okay, feeling something excited? New. Oh, she completely disregarded that she one. Did. She's, so, well, she's looking around. <laughs> Just let her look. Thinking. She's busy. She's busy. Um. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. My something new is... Being in a studio. <gasps> oh, that's a good one. Being in a studio and yeah. having really nice cameras yeah. and lighting. They are nice. And a view. Everything Might is add. way nice. This is awesome. It's and pretty perfect. Different than our bedrooms. Yeah, we have just the best setup ever when we normally record these. Yeah. Do you guys live together? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Aww. Mm-hmm. Sisters. Yeah. That's yeah. That's beautiful. Keep going. You're amazing at singing. <laughs> no. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, oh, what? Wow. She sings? Boom. Yeah, I love singing. Um, okay. <laughs> well. Shut up. I actually do love singing, but, like, no one else loves it because it's bad. Mm. You no know? one else mm-hmm. loves you singing? Yeah. Are you sure? Probably not. I guess I can't say that with full confidence, but I can guarantee that it's not like a pleasant thing for a lot of people listening. I just enjoyed the sisters' song. Well, that's that's because I only gave you like a little (laughs) that song. Yeah, we loved that song. (laughs) It is a full song. You're playing it out. I will tell you. Well, it's a song I know. Okay. Oh, it's already made. It's already made. Yeah. yeah. No, I didn't write it. No. Sorry. So that's why I'm not going to sing it. Okay. That's understood. Um, my what is it? Something new thing. New. New Sorry, my something new. <laughs> it's a hard one. <laughs> um, my something new is that I recently have discovered that I actually enjoy going to the beach. Oh, you didn't know this before? No. What? I just never thought I liked it. Did you do it wrong? Okay. Yes. And then you did it right. Yes. What was? What's the right way? The right way is to like get chairs oh chairs okay true like get elevated off the sand yeah. i think really like makes a difference yeah. mm-hmm. and so that is and then i got like a little table like a tiny little table you play and i can oh put gosh. like i could put like my food on it mm-hmm. i just need to protect myself from the sand a little bit more yeah and and then yeah. i did that and i was like oh i could get used to this yeah mm. sounds so, very nice there we there we have it. Chairs That's at my the beach. What chairs be- at the beach. What beach do you go to? Um, we go out to Malibu. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, 
because I was thinking of Venice Beach. No, I won't. Sounds kind of horrendous. No, yeah, you won't find me out there probably. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah, but I I do like going to Malibu. Yeah, Malibu is pretty. Just a little less congested. I never been. You'll go someday. Yeah. (laughs) How long are you out here? (laughs) Two more days. Ooh, so we got time say to kill. We squeeze in a beach trip. <laughs> totally good. Let's go. We actually so should. That would be fun. We want to surf. Wait, do you surf? I don't surf. Have you tried surfing? I have not tried surfing. <gasps> I, feel I like... have about like like no desire. Like I can't even no. muster up like a little bit of like I can't even pretend that I want to surf. Yeah. Where but are you actually, from, Kelsey? I'm from Los Angeles. Okay. This is crazy. Okay. This is wild. She's a different type of Cali girl. <laughs> she is so different. Does the word actually. Cali trigger you? Um, no. Really? I okay. mean, it's like... So that's a I myth. mean, I would never say it. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't. I personally would never utter the word Cali. Yeah, ew. Oh, she said it. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Um, but... I don't care if someone else does. Okay, I just like, know. That's, mm-hmm. Okay, so you're not from here. And that's <laughs> yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's oh, a bad giveaway. Oh, gross. Um, okay. But oh. yeah, I'm a Cali girl. Okay. She said it. Oh. Bring back Cali. Should we? Nothing's cringe. Nothing's cringe. That is true. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When I say Cali, say it. Yeah. Good. She changed her Life stance. is too Things short. Has changed. Yeah. Things <laughs> change. Things are rapidly changing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> say Cali. Um, people in Utah, <laughs> I've really Stand only up. seen this in, I've only heard this in Utah. People say Caliph. Okay. That's actually where I draw the line. Oh. <laughs> that is, that is I would think it's better. Caliph. Caliph. I mean, you're not saying Cali. Caliph. Really? Yeah. That might be like a loophole. No. Caliph. <laughs> might as well like call it. Saying Cali. Ornia. You guys. <gasps> ew, 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 ew. I hate it. I hate it. Ornia sounds like a body part. <laughs> yeah. yeah it does. And Caliph. <laughs> Is just not. It sounds a like word. you have a speech impediment. Like you like yeah. can't finish your words. It right. just. Cal- e- <laughs> yeah, it's just not. It's not. I don't think we should say caliph. Okay. Uh-huh. And I think if you hear someone in Utah say it, be like, I don't think that's a place. I should stand up for that one. Yeah, yeah. that's where you should put hey, your how foot down. How dare you? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what'd you say? <laughs> say it again. Do not say that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, well, you should try surfing because it's really... I know. I actually, <laughs> I will say, sitting out on the beach mm-hmm. and actually enjoying myself, I was, like, pretty tempted to get into the ocean. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to push my luck, but right. well, I might okay. one day get in and surf. You so should. That's a great I'll keep feeling. You, I'll keep, is it? It is. Okay. It really is. Get Getting a wave up on storm. those waves. Mm-hmm. Just you in the wave. Yeah. No phone. Ugh. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just you and nature. <laughs> yeah, that's like so really. Fun. Yeah, you're connecting. Mm. Get on that wave storm. Don't surf out in Malibu because it's so intimidating and scary. I'm like acting like I'm a She's experienced. So I don't know if you know this, but I've actually um surfed before. So <laughs> okay, um okay. Cool. Well, I, I actually surfed definitely like a good seven times in my entire life. Wow. Maybe eight. That's a lot, but I feel like it's more than th- three. It's yeah. more than I've done. It's more than two. Two. Have you ever I'm surfed? I'm this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't care about it. <laughs> you don't? No, I don't, like... Like, you didn't feel like one with the waves. No, like, I did it. You know how you can just get pushed by the whitewash? Mm. R- mm-hmm. Right. Whitewash, is that what we call it? Uh, sure. Kelly girl? Right. Yeah, whitewash is what yes. we call it. I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't I don't count it because I think that that's cheating. So, okay. no, I haven't surfed oh. lately, yeah. But she's driven. Yeah. And she uh-huh. is mm-hmm. hard. Like, she knows hard on yourself. <laughs> yes. Maybe a little bit. Yeah. You want to make, make yourself go yeah. further and further. We want those yeah. big waves. That. I want a short board. Yeah. Uh-uh. I want to be barreled. That's hard. Don't Until I'm barreled, I've never surfed. From someone who's surfed, that's definitely hard. Okay. Okay. Shut up. Sorry. Stop. Okay, Kelsey. Okay. Now we have some rapid fire questions to ask you. I love rapid fire questions. We're just going to. Okay. They're going to be, just, like, weirdly random. And you don't want me to to elaborate no well okay you can have like one sentence of elaboration if i feel like it needs it then i will but i'm gonna try to to be make it short yes okay these actually require more than yes or no okay fully got it okay what is your favorite social media app out of all of them probably instagram okay it's like the it's like your cousin that you just love because they're like part of your life but they're kind of weird sometimes but like you're gonna love them regardless. Yeah, it's a very interesting. They're perspective always there. That I think everybody can relate to, though. Never thought That's about true. Instagram like a cousin. 
It's really it's actually true. your cousin. It and like, is. They're you kind of like your cousins, but you're time. like, I don't know if I'd hang out with you. Yeah. You don't agree with outside everything. of like Thanksgiving, but I kind of like you during Thanksgiving. Like you're kind of yeah. fun. Yeah. I, I don't know. Like. I'm also kind of into be real. I'm not gonna lie. Yes. Yes. Yeah. That would be my be answer. But I like having it like just for me and mm-hmm. my like people yeah. I actually know. That's why you, you like it. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Exactly. I agree. I have next question. Let's hear it. Are you an introvert or an extrovert? I don't know. That's really tough. I really like like hanging out with people and talking to people, but like if I don't have time by myself, then I am not pleasant. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I feel, and I feel like that's such a basic answer, but I feel like it's I'm I'm a little bit of both. Are yeah. you hard to get out? Yeah, like you would rather just. It depends. Yeah. It depends. But, like, sometimes, yes. But also, if I am out, like, I won't leave. Like, I'm like, this is the best thing I've ever done. And I want to stay forever. Yeah. Oh, I'm the opposite. Yeah. I actually, yeah. Like, I don't always want to go out. But when I am out, I'm mm-hmm. like, let's just right. keep let's going. Keep going. We're already for, here. Yes. yes. Yeah. You do. Yeah, I do. Yeah. yeah, I'm the same way. It's okay. probably annoying. Like for for the for, people that were for with. the people that can't relate. And like, I'm like, no, I'm not leaving. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I yeah. get really upset about it. Yeah. <laughs> I think I just kind of sit around until everyone's ready to go. That's like, I'll so have true. My fun, and then I'm like, all right, yeah. that's my limit. And then I okay. sit down. Yeah. And then I like play games on my phone. Oh, okay. I don't. No, you don't. I don't. Oh, I was going to say. <laughs> Doodle jump. Uh-uh. Flappy bird. No. <laughs> Doing angry birds. <laughs> like waking up. <laughs> um, have you taken the, I forgot officially what it's called, but the 16 personalities test? Is that the one with the four letters? Uh-huh. Yeah. What are you? I don't remember. I know. I think it started with an I, though. What I have no idea. I have nothing more to say. <laughs> I was couldn't tell you. Second. Okay. I just like, I know I take those things and I'm like, actually, you're wrong. Like, okay, you yeah. don't know anything about me. I yeah. feel like that's how she feels. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, 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 like, I like, love it. Bullshit. Yeah, you exactly. Yeah. But then I'm like, I just don't want to acknowledge it, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know. So I, I took love it, that kind of stuff. I took it and the girl, I, I she was like, oh my God, you should take this because I feel like we're so much alike. And then like everything was the opposite of what no. she had. And so I was like, oh, no way. I feel like we were both like, we were both kind of like, Bummer. Okay, bye. Yeah. <laughs> and then I was like, we could have just gotten along, but instead I took a stupid quiz <laughs> online, and now all of a sudden we're not, like, going to hang out. Yeah. Like, it's so weird. Oh, so. that is really weird. It puts yeah. you in a box that you feel like you, like, can't get out yeah, of. Yeah, exactly. You I like understand boxes, that. Huh? Here's the thing. I really don't like boxes. Oh. But oh. what I do Sorry. like about it. <laughs> hate boxes. What I do like is that you can, like, you're answering the questions honestly, and there's a good amount of questions, so you get a pretty good feel for someone's personality. You don't have to be like, yes, this is the law, and, like, this is where I stay, because you're also constantly changing. Mm -hmm. But I think it's kind of cool to, like, know what someone's is, because you can generally get a feel for what kind of person they are. Well, why don't you just have a conversation with them? Yeah, why don't you just get to know them? That's the most basic rebuttal I've ever heard in my life. (laughs) Well, then Duh. it's valid. Though. I'll do both, though. That's the thing. Mm. I'm getting really passionate about You that. are. And I, yeah. I love seeing someone feel passionately about something. So I'm supporting you in this. But, like, thank you. Mm. I, yeah. I'm kind of. No, agreeing. it's fine. Okay. What do you think about astrology? I okay. don't. It's one of, it's also one of those things where it's like, I don't, I don't need, I don't need to believe it. But then mm-hmm. at the same time, if I think about like having a kid. All of a sudden, I'm like, okay, I only want to have kids during this month and this month and what? this month. What? So that they could be Libras, like their mom. Oh, my gosh. Um, you're a Libra? Yeah. But then again, I don't know what the fuck that means. Am I allowed to yeah. say a bad word? Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. I don't know what the F that means. Oh, good. That's good. <laughs> thank you. We like that. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so um, here's the th- thing that I would say about Libras. W- weirdly enough, okay, all of my best friends are Libras. What are you? I'm just saying. Are you cancer? We're both no but all my all my all my best girlfriends are oh. cancers for the most part really yes but i hate cancer boys okay so see i do know a little Ooh. bit more about astrology than i like yeah, let on you, exactly yes but i don't like i know the general gist of everything i can't yeah. get like into a deeper conversation about this because then i'm like okay yes okay i don't know i kind of agree saying. with that like I'm into it. I'm interested in it. I can't get into a deep conversation. About you it. do. You get into a and that's lot okay. of deep conversations that's about okay. it. That's okay. Do I? Yeah, I, I feel just like ask everyone. Like yes. I'm starting the sense that that's you like might. kind yeah. of an insult. Well, it's kind no, of an insult. Not. I you. said I like when people are passionate about things. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. 
Um, Libras, never mind. We're not going to get into but it. But all your best friends are Libras. And yours are Cancers. Yeah. What are you? Taurus. We're both what Taurus. Are you? Taurus. You're a Taurus also. Okay. What does it mean to you? See, that means literally nothing. I can tell. Yeah. I know. Okay. I know, like, Libra, because that's uh-huh. what I am. Uh-huh. I know what a, a Cancer ish. Because you're around them. Because I'm around them. I am kind of the same way. Yeah, like, but Taurus, like, I don't know many Tauruses besides mm-hmm. my two favorite ones yeah, sitting right in front here, of me. Right here. Right here. Thank yeah. You. No, yeah. I know. And so that's all I know now is that they're funny and beautiful. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> and really wow. good podcast What the hell? Shop, seriously. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's, that's all I know about them well, now. Well, you know the TikTok trends, how they're like going through all the signs and they're like, this is what. Uh, cancer would say if they blah 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 yeah. there's never Taurus ones so that's me not able to understand what I am okay because TikTok doesn't allow me and that's on TikTok <laughs> I think Taurus doesn't get enough like yeah. attention that's interesting because my for you page always has Taurus TikToks oh that's weird oh that's I've curated weird. it don't... to myself I interact with the posts that I know I should interact All right. with interesting that's what I'm saying. do you want to know it's something crazy about astrology and TikTok really quick before the rapid fire questions yeah. keep going yes <laughs> the morning I got engaged <clears throat> oh my gosh yeah i was looking on tiktok and there was a tiktok that was like your signs as wedding as engagement rings and oh. libra looked exactly like no. my engagement ring and i was like oh, one day and it was that day no anyway, whoa yeah. what does that mean tiktok knows that's actually <gasps> really weird show that's us your crazy. wedding ring Oh my so gosh, pretty. that is so beautiful. That's a Libra ring for sure. Oh, mm. it screams Libra. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like if I, I was like, that, I would know. He like got down on one knee and I was like, I already knew. <laughs> <laughs> I already knew this was going to happen. Because no, TikTok, TikTok actually told me this earlier. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Wow. Next question. That's amazing. Sorry. Okay. We will try to not take so long. Yeah, actually, yeah. it's fine. I yeah. think it's awesome. Um, oh, this one's kind of fun. <laughs> when was your first kiss? And give us the story really oh. quick. First kiss. Get this, 17 years old. Me no! too. Me too. Beautiful. We're old. Yeah. We're, old. Yeah. We're late bloomers. Oh my yeah. gosh. Yeah. 17 years old. My hair, I finally wore it straight. Boy <laughs> wanted to give me attention. So the next <laughs> weekend we made out and it was awful. <gasps> it oh, was awful? Why yeah. was it awful? It, he didn't okay, know. Okay, it's like, he listen, I know that I don't know what I was doing, mm-hmm. but at the same time, I know that he was a bad kisser. No. You know what I mean? I'm like, this yeah. can't yeah. all be me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't have control There's over no structure. his. structure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, what's your favorite place you've ever traveled? My favorite place in the world is Palm Desert, California. Oh. Like right by Palm Springs. Mm -hmm. It's always been my favorite place since I've been a kid. We used to go there, or we still go there every year with my family for Easter. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's nice. But like, other than that, I would say probably, probably like Saint-Tropez. Oh my gosh. Where is that? It's south of France. Oh. Yeah. It was, that was pretty <gasps> spectacular. That's... And we like weren't planning on going there. It was very like last minute and it was like a surprise kind of fun trip. So, Aww. yeah. Pretty. Okay. What's your favorite fast food joint? Uh, probably Cane's. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Ooh. I agree. Do you guys consider Five Guys fast food? Mm-mm. No. Okay. I would say Cane's. Is there a drive through for <coughs> Five Guys? No. Okay. Then Cane's. Canes is good. Canes is freaking good. It's really good. <laughs> Canes is like a drug. Yeah. It's like you okay. you know it's like not awesome for you, but you're you the way you feel when you're eating it. it. Yeah. yeah. There's a calm down bread. as well. The bread <laughs> makes no sense. <laughs> the bread dipped in the sauce, like just scooping <laughs> sauce with bread yeah. and like shoveling it in. It's like I completely lose sight of myself. Exactly. And it's yeah. an out of body yeah. experience. Yeah. You just have to pretend like you don't know what's going on. Exactly. Like this Ignorance. you have to just stay alive and that's yes. why you need the food. <laughs> So, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, okay, so your perfect. favorite guilty pleasure show? I probably Love Island. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. When did that become? Okay, when I first started watching Love Island, I was like, nobody knows about this. Right. And then I found out literally Everyone. everybody knows about it. When did you start watching it? Um, March. March, <laughs> April, May. March of what? That is bullshit. <laughs> no. I started watching it in December. Mm-hmm. Of this year? Yeah. Oh. So how long you've been watching it? <laughs> Since like 2017. Yeah. Okay. No idea. Okay. No idea. I thought that I found something new and okay. interesting. UK no, you version? didn't. You I knew. Did. No. UK. No. Uh, Australia. Australia. Just slapped on the <laughs> table. <laughs> I'm supposed to do that. Please. Um. Uh, Australia. Uh, yeah. 
I love crikey. Listening no. To that. <laughs> what do they say? No way. Keen. I'm really keen on. Yeah, oh, they say that keen in on. UK. Yeah. 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 Oh, never mind. Okay. Um, they keen say on is fancy. The name no, of they fancy in UK. Thank you. Oh, what do they sorry, do? You're right. They Banter. Say they say banta. They say that in ban- the UK ah. one. Oh my oh, gosh. Ba- ah. UK and Australia, I guess they're just the same exact place. She's same dialect. Proper fit. Do they say that? Because maybe you're watching the UK one. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. Do they say snog instead of like make out? Yes. Oh, it's UK then, UK. probably. <sighs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> do they say crikey? No we way. Really great. Sorry, they might. That like takes me like. They say it sends me. They that say, sends me. Fish on the Barbie <laughs> or something. They, <laughs> <laughs> they like you talking about like kangaroos. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like the outback, the outback. <laughs> I mean, oh, uh, outback steakhouse. I love Australia. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, yeah, I should watch that season. You Ooh. should watch the first one. I'm serious. <laughs> season one, Australian. Yes, Australian think- season one. Okay. And you should watch the UK one. I did start watching it. I started watching the third season recently. Oh, okay. So far, you know, it's all the same. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway. Anyway, sorry, so that's sorry, my guilty sorry pleasure. To take your guilty pleasure show. It's mine. Don't take it. It's mine. You can share it. It's mine too. Oh, it's ours. <laughs> I think actually. it's all a lot of people. Love Island. Me personally, like, it's yeah. not so much mine because I feel like it's the same thing over and over. But if I was really like dialed into it, mm-hmm. I think I would get into it. What's yours? I would say 90210, I think. Oh, it is inspiring is you a lot. It is. Oh. It's yeah. really having an effect on me. It is, and that's amazing. Thank you. We yeah. we think it might. I think it's kind of guilty. Yeah. Well, when did it come out? 2007, maybe? Whenever, whenever people started wearing long necklaces. Mm. I would say 2007. Because I'm thinking about yeah, me in fun. eighth grade. I was in eighth grade in 2007, and I was long necklacing. Like, yeah. So, like, like, it was my job. Honestly, yeah. had to had to. Did you layer up on them too? Oh yeah, and layered tank tops too, mm. and like bubble dresses over like leggings that cut off at my. Yes. 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 Whoa. Well, yes. Oh yeah. my gosh. Two thousand eight. Wow. Nine hundred two hundred. Okay. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 We love it That's so a good much. Show. Okay. Last question. Okay. Who is your favorite music artist? Taylor Swift. Really? Like all time favorite ever? Probably. Yeah. I love that. That's sweet. I can't lie. You know, I gotta like, great. I gotta come to terms with it. Mm-hmm. It was something I tried to like pretend like it wasn't real mm-hmm. for a long time, mm-hmm. and then I was like, I'm too old for this. I gotta just well, accept it. Yeah, good. I'm a Swifty. To, no. Like, do- oh, <laughs> that's where we. Oh no no no! no. Nothing's <laughs> cringe. Listen. Nothing's cringe. I, like I used to be right, a Swifty. Right. Okay. Okay. Uh-oh. Taylor Swift. Don't when even she was tell country. me if it, it was Reputation that did it for you. And it might have been. Oh. I- and maybe it was. <laughs> it might have been. She and that's was okay. country. And then, <laughs> it kind of did it for me for a second too. She's but such then an I was advocate. like, <laughs> "What's the song that?" And I'm on the hard ground. Yeah. Oh. That one. I was like, "I knew you were an trouble. Imposter. She's oh, an imposter." Okay. <laughs> so she you've was never, country. you've never, but you've I, never grown and changed. <laughs> <laughs> yup. I just can't relate to Taylor. We just call her Taylor. No, I. Taylor. I mean, and that's fine. Taylor. <laughs> Yeah. Well, no. I went to her concert. I went to her. Which one? Fearless. Fearless. Yeah, I went to you that one. You did? Too. And she's like floating around. I think she kind of floats in everyone because like everyone I've been to, she's kind of like floating around. Yeah, or I'm just like imagining her. And like I, I like ready. love her so much that I see her like she's levitating. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I thought she would come by and like maybe give me something. She I always, me. She always kinda... wish yeah. and hope and dream. That's, she was great. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I just have loved her forever. Good. And yeah. If I'm being honest, it's. <laughs> That's so it's cool. It's her or like Drake. Whoa. <laughs> that's <laughs> that came out that's nowhere. All I, that's all I listen to. I just switch off between Taylor Swift complete collection uh-huh. or like this is Drake on Spotify. Is, whoa. <laughs> yeah. I was like Drake's music. Okay. It, it puts you in like a good mood. Or I like, will tell you. <laughs> yeah. <you're> like, <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I think that that's, yeah, those are my two, those are my two, like, starting points. I mean, okay. I, I get into other stuff, but I will say, like, those are my, those are my anchors. Are you on Spotify? <laughs> do you do Spotify? Like, listen who was, to music on it? Yeah. You on Spotify? <laughs> you work with Spotify. Cool. Um, yeah. <laughs> who was your top artist? I think Taylor Swift. Okay. Oh. I went to her, um, Reputation <laughs> tour in Same. L.A. Wait, Wait, same. At the Rose oh, Bowl? Yes. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. 
with With our little cousin Tilly. Oh, I thought you meant like the brand Tilly's (laughs) sent you. That was like (laughs) with Zoomies. Crazy. That would be so cool though. Oh, so you had the excuse to go with a little cousin. Right. Yeah. Okay. So like, but I loved it. No, I really do. (laughs) I do really like Taylor Swift. I do. I'm just not on the same level with her as you are. I think I'm on a healthy level. Like I'm not okay. okay. I will like sometimes I'll get a little bit like, oh really? (laughs) (laughs) But like I'm not gonna be like. I'm not like, I'm not like trying to decipher. You know how people on TikTok are like, she left us an egg or Easter egg, yes. and they're like deciphering like what yeah, she's I love. That. Like I'll listen to people talk about it, but mm. I'm not gonna sit there and like go through her things and like try if, to figure stuff out. If yeah. people are talking like near you yeah. and they're talking about Taylor Swift, yeah. do you feel an urge to be like, oh, oh you, got- I listen to Taylor Swift too, like to be a part of the conversation? Um, if if I know them, okay, yeah. If I didn't yeah. know them, I probably like would just mind of- my own business but i do like making people okay this is so <laughs> annoying of me but like sometimes i'll be like put on taylor swift and i'll tell you what song it is in the first three seconds oh that's me that's with yeah. tame impala Tame-Pala. Oh, okay yeah. oh you're a tame impala girl yeah are you guys both mm-hmm. she I, feels I enjoy like... i enjoy tame impala but summer has very much claimed tame impala as part of her oh, okay well okay so you would say that that's your all-time favorite Definitely one of them. Yeah, if not the number one. Him and Mac DeMarco. And because I really, they were just constantly playing when I was like 15, 16. And then I just never stopped listening to them. And so I feel like I listened to them a very... Like before everyone else probably. Not just that. Like they've grown (laughs) with you. Exactly. Yeah. Like very like monumental times in my life totally i was listening to them yeah no i feel that's and what i feel about taylor swift really but you were just like a cooler 15 year old yeah i was just like <laughs> psychedelic yeah. rock right? yeah. <laughs> no i pretended i like had the like i really wanted like the stoner girl vibe mm-hmm. but yeah. i just never smoked weed Whoa. oh With my god along, same that's so true I, yeah i wanted to be a stoner <gasps> yes. like more than anything yeah. like, I was like no I feel like this is me like yeah. I know I'd be a good stoner yeah. and then I yes. would like try to smoke weed and I'd be like this <laughs> yep fully like, couldn't fully me like eyes wide <laughs> thought I was watching everyone around me like uh-huh. and I was dying like yep. it was like it's bad so I just mm-hmm. it was never in the cards for me but yeah, yeah. I, I had a tapestry time. wholeheartedly I thought the that. tapestry made me stoner vibes okay yes. so, like, yeah if you smoked you would be so chill and like right I yeah. know <laughs> yes people would tell no. me that all the time and I was like I'm gonna take that and run with it yeah <laughs> I wanted to be like I would say I would definitely went through a like wanting to be a stoner phase i couldn't get into the no like i dated like a boy who was like who like left his weed at my house and i'd be like (gasps) oh my god wait can i smoke this (laughs) and then i would try to and i'd be like oh wait how do i even do this (laughs) yeah Yeah, exactly light up can i burn real quick (laughs) no can't handle it no (laughs) no no it's pretty bad but you know what at least we tried yeah and at yeah. least we had that vibe. <laughs> Failed. Yeah. <laughs> and at least the, the music rug. I listened to, I wore a drug rug like every day. Yes. What's a drug was rug? Was that just a, maybe it was just an organ term? What is it? Maybe it was just an organ. So it's like a canvas, canvas, canvas sack. So, okay. Shirt. They, <laughs> potato sack, potato sack shirt <laughs> woven. We're going to post colors. this on our Instagram for those of you who want to see and don't know. It was called know. a drug rug. Yeah. But she introduced that term to me. So maybe it was just like a, I don't know why I think it's called term. that. Hold okay. on. They sell them in Venice. Like oh, yeah. so much. Yeah. Okay. We're getting close. Here we go. Oh my God. Those things. Those. Yeah. I had like a pink and black one and I <laughs> actually wore it like every single day. Yes. Okay. We go to yeah. the lake. She's like drug rug. Yeah, I didn't know they were called drug rugs. Maybe they're not. It's kind of cool though. Now I kind of want one. Kristen's agreeing. Drug rug. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wait, you guys. Now I kind of want a drug rug. You yeah. should get one. They're actually kind of awesome. Dude, and they Venice. give you the freaking they're Venice right vibe AF. Yeah. See, you can probably use it as like cringe. a towel too, or just like a mm-hmm. blanket. Mm-hmm. Yeah, rug. Very versatile. Yeah shirt okay now we're having a really good time talking about drug rugs right now but i think yeah. we should get into this a little bit um i want to hear about you being a teacher and then deciding to fully switch into doing youtube full-time and all of that okay um so i was a teacher right. i went to college and i mas- mastered i m- majored. majored thank you oh my god it was a long time <laughs> ago um in child development and I just always knew I wanted to be a preschool teacher. Mm-hmm. And um, so that's what I did. I started subbing when I was in college. And then right out of college, I got like a full-time job teaching. 
I absolutely loved it, but you don't make a lot of money. The whole I was, system. I was making like $13 an hour, and I was trying to support myself and like in LA it was just really difficult um and so I loved it so much but I stopped because I didn't love my boss and I was making $13 an hour and couldn't Mm -hmm. really support myself and then um I started nannying Mm -hmm. okay and then I so you like kids I love kids that's cool I I've always felt like I just get along with children I don't Mm -hmm. know that's a gift yeah yeah um and I feel like when you know that that's a thing like you feel like you have to do something with it because it's like cool that you're able to connect with totally kids um so then I was doing that and then I didn't like nannying the kids I nannied for weren't the best um I'm also like so scared that they're gonna hear like there's something like every time I try (laughs) to talk about it I'm like yeah we're gonna hear this yeah um so I just didn't love nannying Mm-hmm. And then I started dating Cody, and he was making YouTube videos, and he was, like, he had so much freedom, and, like, he was mm-hmm. his own boss, and he was having so much fun, and he was being creative, and I was, like, kind of interested. And yeah. then he asked me to be in a video with him, and I really enjoyed it, but I was, like, I don't want to just be, like, Cody's girlfriend yeah. who pops into his videos randomly, and people yeah. know nothing about me except yes. the fact that I'm Cody's girlfriend. Yeah. So I don't like my job right now. I might as well just try to do it. And so he got me a camera for Christmas Aww. and was like, believe in your dreams. I don't know. He wrote me like the cutest Aww. card that was like, I have faith in you. And I was like, OK. That and then I so like, cute. Cute. And then I did it and it worked. Yeah. And I, like, so, so and I well. love doing it. Um, and then mm-hmm. when I was able to like make money off of it, I one of my friends became the boss at my old school and she oh. knew that I was doing YouTube and stuff, but she let me like come and teach part time just because I loved it. Wow, still, and that's I missed so it. Cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so that's so I started. That's how I started doing both. Um, but it was nice to like have the freedom of YouTube and like be able to do all that, but still be able to like have some normalcy and like go in and yes. mm-hmm. teach and stuff. Yeah, but for sure, I think like it was a sweet spot because they're so young that like mm-hmm. they don't know. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, they can't. They're not going to find my stuff. I had a couple parents, yes. like, find my stuff, yeah. which I thought was even weirder because I was like, why are you on YouTube? Like, yes. take care of your kids. But then they, they they don't care. Like, no one cares at that point. Mm-hmm. And I'm, like, I'm good at teaching. Like, they're not going to be like, you're not allowed to teach my kids. Like, yeah. They don't care. And you're not posting, it's like, not, gnarly things either. Right. And it's not like I go into the classroom and I'm, like, vlogging in the classroom. No. Like, I, com- I keep them, like, completely separate. Ooh. Yeah, I feel like parents so, just don't get it. So they think it's like right. so taboo that they're like, "Don't bring that in here." Right, with my kid. Yeah, know. Mm-hmm. no, I know. It's it's so like a weird. fine line for sure. Yeah, but I was able to do it, and then that's so cool. Yeah, that's awesome. That's that. Well, that's exciting. Yeah, it's fun. And I guess you so you grew up in L. A. Mm-hmm. And so you've always kind of been around like the whole l.a vibe maybe or have you not what was it kind of like a shock like getting more into social media and being around like the influencer things like going to like Mm -hmm. like tiktok party things like how was that how was being around that i think that i i think i missed like growing up here i grew up in the valley i grew up in the suburbs like it was very normal it wasn't crazy i will say like in high school sometimes i'll talk about like things that i did in high school or like people i hung out with and people will be like that's kind of crazy and I'm like oh I thought it was just I don't know it was like very normal like there were people who were like actors or so you kind of grew up around that I kind of grew up around that but it was very much more just like like actors like people on Disney Mm. Channel you know what I mean not like TikTokers yeah and so like it was (laughs) completely different I'm also 28 like I'm older and so by the time I started in this like social media world like Mm. I was I was already I was done like trying to find myself really like I already was pretty like I I know who I am I yeah. have like a pretty strong sense yeah. of self and so like when that's awesome and we're older we're just older so like it doesn't really affect us as much like yeah. it's more just like funny like sometimes if yeah. Cody and I go to a party and there's like TikTokers there we're like oh my god it's kind of like watching I don't know it's like watching no. people it's just like yeah it doesn't affect us very much because I feel like yeah. we're pretty removed being in Venice we're very removed like we're not we're not like really in the thick of it Mm -hmm. and like we're not looking 
we're not looking for friends. No, I'm just kidding. We're, just, we're not <laughs> no, like, I know what you're saying. We're not like trying to find yeah. our place in this. Yeah. Like, I can't imagine having to do that yeah. as like a younger mm-hmm. kid. Like really, I, yeah. I can't. And I'm happy that I didn't have to. Mm-hmm. But yeah. I think like, so it doesn't like really affect us very much. It's kind of entertaining. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. It is very entertaining. Yeah. I feel like like kids who move here like 17, 18 by themselves and they just are like, I'm doing social media and then they just are throw themselves into this whole like honestly like terrifying scene it's no, terrifying it, it's, no like it's it, it definitely can be it's just like it's so much and if you don't have a good sense of self I think that can be like kind of scary for yeah, sure yeah. and sure like that's that's when like LA changes you like that's when that happens I feel like to be a part of it right yeah, you mm-hmm. want to keep up and you like totally people are very concerned with being relevant and yeah. like clout and it's like oh that's my gosh. that's when it becomes like not a healthy place to be and I was no. just watching something where some girl was like I hate LA like it's so everyone's so fake and blah blah, blah. and it's like yeah if you're if that's the only thing that you're coming to LA to experience yeah. that's all you're gonna that's see you're but like if you that's a good point just hang out with like people who aren't in that world and, and to, like, just meet normal people like it's actually mm-hmm. a pretty normal place yeah. yeah you know yeah so yeah, yeah that's very true like the past like few ish times that I've come here I've spent time with like people that do different things right. here in LA it's not like only social media people right and I'm like oh like this can be kind of a more like normal experience to yeah, be here. Yeah. yeah. Like it's not all just people right. like trying to benefit from each other. Exactly. Or you like find your people who are like minded mm-hmm. that maybe also do social media, but like you're kind of like you're able to hang out like without posting everything or yeah. like you know what I mean? But you can yeah. still talk about because it's, you can it's relate, a weird so. world. And so like you want to have people that can, yeah, you can relate like ground to. You. Yeah. Yes. But like, so you just you have to find those people who are like genuine mm-hmm. and I feel like everybody's looking for that but no one's going to the right place like everyone yeah. in LA like wants to find genuine people but it's like yeah you, you stop trying to like hang out day. yeah I know <laughs> but yeah. then you have to like actually remove yourself mm-hmm. from everything and like actually look for that because if you're yeah. just talking about how you want to find it like you're never going to find it mm-hmm. so and that's like a hard thing it's like you want to keep doing the easy thing like the easy thing is to stay around the people that you know and like go to the parties to be social and stuff right but the hard thing is like going out of your way to be around different people and not go to every single party ever right we were talking about on like a past podcast episode how if you're not at like every event or you're not always there it's actually way cooler oh, than yeah. being at every party yeah yeah like it makes you kind of like more of a like treat when you are there. this is true yeah i mean it's like exciting true. when you show up to something because you're not always there so yeah like, yeah kind if of you fun. go it's a big deal bigger deal it's true yeah mm-hmm. i don't know anyway it's like probably healthier yeah for your definitely mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, because if you're going out every week and then you're going to feel like you have to keep doing that and then you're going to get FOMO if you're right. not at right. everything that your friends are at. Yes. And I think it would be nice and cute to end on, like, what your philosophy of life is. Like, what – I know that's huge. Guys, like, you can think yeah. on that one for a second. But, like, what is something that, like, if someone was about to die <laughs> – like what would you tell them or you have like a kid maybe you have a kid and you want to <laughs> you want to give the kid life advice a just really like, good piece of life advice it doesn't have to be too crazy or too yeah. deep just like something that you you live by something you can't live without yeah i would probably tell my kid that family is the most important thing oh that there is because that's like that's who really has your back yeah um and to find friends who like make you feel like I don't know how to explain it but like people surround yourself with people who you feel like feel calm mm-hmm. make you feel yeah like, like you can be yourself stuff yes too. and not like not like your silly self because I feel like it's fun to be silly with anyone and everyone mm-hmm. but like who you could just no filter just be your actual tell your craziest thoughts to and like 
find people who who doesn't matter if you think that they look cool or they are cool or yeah. whatever but yeah. if they just make you feel like your best happiest self and you do the same for them those mm-hmm. are the most important friendships to find That's and totally it takes a really long time yeah. I think and like yes. you might think you have it figured out and then something happens and you get older and you meet new people mm-hmm. and like I've met some of my best friends at like 27 yeah and like mm-hmm. it's been like a clarity of like oh this is what a real friend is supposed to feel like and I so wow. I just think that like I just think that it doesn't matter nothing matters except like how you make the people around you feel and that you're making people around you feel safe and happy and that yeah. you find people to do the same for you yeah mm-hmm. I think people get oh. worried that they feel like they should have that like especially like high schoolers yeah you know what yeah. I mean you think that you like need that yeah mm-hmm. yeah but it takes time to find those quality people because like, right that's what makes them quality is that, right like they're not like everybody isn't like that they're just mm-hmm. that special person yeah that's totally cool. and like as that. you get older and stuff you you finally like I mean at least for me I realize I've come into myself so much more totally the older I get yeah the more I feel like I'm in myself and I'm actually being myself for myself yeah Yeah. and so that's definitely harder to find when you're younger because there's different motives you know you know if you're you're around people who you feel like you can't be yourself around like when you're like thinking about what to say or like it so fall like listen to that feeling yes, and like yeah. you don't need to be friends with everyone mm-hmm. yes. it's it's okay mm-hmm. that's that's a good point that's i good fully point. agree you're gonna be a really good mom oh my god yes. thanks <laughs> so cute. when are you getting married early next year <laughs> okay exciting yeah yeah, exciting. yeah yeah very exciting oh my gosh yes. yeah are you starting to plan right now yeah we're like in the we're doing it i got my dress you got your dress mm-hmm. yeah we do Kelsey, thank you so much for coming on Thank yeah. you guys for having me. We have to come up with a challenge. Okay. For the listeners. Oh my God. Okay. So it's like a self growth challenge. So okay. we just talked about that. like finding friends and like family is the most important. So mm-hmm. something that our listeners can do off of that. Like, do you have anything in mind? I no. think you guys should listen, listen to like your what your gut is telling you Mm -hmm. with people and if you feel like someone's making you not feel (gasps) okay happy or safe or something then it's okay to remove yourself from that situation and you will find people who do make you feel that way don't worry about not finding those people Mm -hmm. yeah listen to your listen to your heart yes that's a good one listen to your heart oh my god i almost started (laughs) singing that (laughs) <laughs> yeah, do some self reflection. Maybe journal a little bit. Yeah, journal. I've or been journaling. Text your friends mm-hmm. who you feel like give you that feeling of acceptance and love. Yes. And tell them how much you appreciate and love them. Yes. And then weed out the bad ones in a nice if you way. Want to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think that would be good for you. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> for you. For I you think that would be good for you. Specifically. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, it's good for everyone. So Kelsey has something exciting to say. Yeah, if you loved <laughs> the sound of my beautiful voice, well, don't worry. You can get it. I started my own podcast um, called Circle Time. Woo! Cute. And, yeah, it's it's fun. So look out for it and listen to it. And, yes. um Hopefully, I'll get you guys on it, too, so it'll be perfect. Please, please, please. would love that. Yes. And make sure to follow Kelsey on Instagram. Yeah, follow me YouTube. on my favorite platform, Instagram. Yes. <laughs> and also watch my YouTube videos. Yes. Thank you, guys. Yeah, of platform. course. Um, thank you, everyone, for listening. We love you. Love you. <laughs> Thanks bye. Thanks for having me. <laughs> bye. Of course. Bye. <laughs>